The Inquisition cannot remain ambassador. If she can't prove, it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked his life to slow the magic of the bridge. Sir Trevelyan, may I present the Marquis Durelion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. How's Durelion lend Justinia these lands for pilgrimage? This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. You own this land? This is the first I've heard of Haven having an owner outside the Chantry. My wife, Lady Machin of Denver, has claimed to Haven by ancient treaty with the monarchs of Ferelden. We were honored to lend its use to divine Justinia. She is a... She was a woman of supreme merit. I will not let an upstart order remain on her holy grounds. What's with the mask? People have been injured. You can't just turn them out onto the snow. And who benefits if they stay? Divine Justinia, Marquis. The Inquisition, not the Chantry, is sheltering the pilgrims who mourn her. Why is the Chantry ignoring the faithful? Because it remains in shock. <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I like her candle thing. I'll think on it, Lady Montilieu. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. Does he really own Haven? Do the Durelions actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Despite their Ferelden relations, the Durelions are Orlesian. If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. You handle him well. I'm so pleased the Marquis isn't tossing us out into the cold. His grace is only the first of many dignitaries we must contend with. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. How did you become ambassador? May I ask what brought you to work for the Inquisition? Sister Leliana approached me. We've been acquainted for quite some time. For better or worse, being the Inquisition's diplomat has become as interesting as she promised. What is your background? What sort of dealings have you had with nobility? For some years, I was the royally appointed court ambassador from Antiva to Orlé. The nobility of Thedas is a rather singular sphere. Those I'm not acquainted with, I know through reputation. Glad to have you around. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. Good day to you. How did you meet Liliana? How do you and Liliana know each other? We moved through similar circles in Norle. I believe we actually met in Val Royale. Liliana was quite an accomplished player of the game by then. What is the game? What exactly do you mean when you say the game? Ah, forgive me. The game refers to the slow duels of influence among the noble and powerful of Orle. It's a rather light-hearted name for the matter. But our legions are fond of playful touches. What business are the Montilliers in, exactly? We began as merchants. My ancestors founded the first trade routes to Rivain. We once sent entire fleets across the Waking Sea. But not anymore. Ah, no. 
Uh, these days, our vessels are a touch more modest. That's where our families have met before. Perhaps. Everyone of distinction in the free marches attends Lady Trevelyan's summer balls. Great Aunt Lucille always did love a party. I don't recall seeing you at any of them. I was less than sterling company when I was younger. Modest in temper, bold in deed. You know the Trevelyan family motto? Heraldry is a passion of mine. What did you do before coming here? I had the great honor of serving Antiva's crown as ambassador to Orlais. I'm also first in line to become the head of House Montillier, though my siblings attend to our mercantile affairs. How strong are your past loyalties? I would never have given up my position if I did not intend to fully commit to the Inquisition. We cannot fall back on borders. Antiva is as threatened as any country by the rebellions. If anything, the alliances I forged there may help our current cause. Do you think the Inquisition will continue after we seal the breach? If we prove ourselves by healing the breach, people may turn to us for other things. Protection, counsel, justice. The Inquisition offered these once to those in need. Tell me, do you believe I was saved by Andraste at the Temple of Sacred Ashes? I should much like to believe so, Your Worship. The miracles Andraste performed were so long ago, they're difficult to picture. If it were truly her and the Fate who saved you, well, in any case, many already believe you walk in the Maker's Light. Let's speak later. Another time.